In my previous lecture, I discussed the greenhouse effect and global warming, and indeed I also gave definitions for what we mean by these terms. Another term that I used was climate change. However, I didn't define what I meant by climate change, and I think it is important that we describe what we mean by this term. Before we define the term climate change, though, we need to know what is climate. In answering this question, it is worth contrasting climate with weather. Weather can be thought of as a combination of temperature, humidity, precipitation, cloudiness, visibility and wind that we might experience at a particular location in the short term. Weather reflects the short term conditions of the atmosphere. Climate, on the other hand, describes the typical weather conditions in an entire region for a very long time. One way of thinking about this difference is that climate is what we expect and weather is what we get. So if climate is the average weather in a region over many years, climate change is a shift in those average conditions. In a sense then, climate change includes both the global warming driven by human-induced emissions of greenhouse gases and the resulting large-scale shifts in weather patterns. However, I believe it is useful to think of global warming as being the cause and climate change as being the effect. Today, there is a scientific consensus about climate change. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or IPCC, published its sixth assessment report in August 2021. In that report, it is noted that temperatures have risen by more than one degree Celsius since the 1850-1900 global average, and that it is unequivocal that human influence has warmed the atmosphere, ocean and land. It describes the ways in which Earth's climate has changed due to human activity as unprecedented in the previous hundreds of thousands of years, with some of the changes as now being inevitable and irreversible. This is the current scientific consensus. When I describe the scientific consensus, some of you might be feeling uncomfortable. Am I arguing that you should accept climate change is real because there is a scientific consensus? Is this an argument from authority? It was no less than Galileo Galilei who stated that in questions of science, the authority of a thousand is not worth the humble reasoning of a single individual. Colloquially, when we talk about consensus, we mean a general agreement of opinion, but the scientific method argues for an objective framework. In science, facts or observations are explained by a hypothesis, which can then be tested and retested until it is refuted. As scientists gather more observations, they will build off one explanation and add details to complete the picture. Eventually, a group of hypotheses might be integrated and generalised into a scientific theory, a scientifically acceptable general principle or body of principles offered to explain a phenomena. Scientific consensus is achieved when the great majority of scientists of a given field agree upon a position based on a large amount of evidence. Consensus is not just a general agreement but is dependent on the expertise of the scientists in question and is based on the accumulation and verification of evidence. But as Galileo proved, a scientific consensus can shift. Scientists are human and science is a human endeavour. We are not saying that climate change has happened and is happening because there is a scientific consensus. We are saying that climate change is real because very careful measurements confirmed by many scientists have shown that it is happening. Thanks for listening.